Thank you for tuning in as always. We're going to talk about an incredible gun in this video, a SIG P220 Equinox. You'll get some good close high depths, 1080p, the whole thing like I normally do, but I want to start this video out differently. What I want to do is discuss SIG Sauer as a company as a whole here briefly, because if we spend our hard earned money on a gun, then I think we should know a little bit about the manufacturer. And if I can give you some educational advice about the company itself, I think it's interesting. And if you learn one or two things about the company, I think it's cool. So let's get right into it. And this is my new type of intro for gun reviews. Let me know if you like it. I want to talk about the manufacturer Six Sour briefly. It goes back to 1853. And a lot of people say, uh, well, is SIG a German company or, or not? What is it? I'll tell you right now. Let's just focus on the word SIG, S-I-G, 1853, forget Sauer for a moment. And uh, three gentlemen in Switzerland named Frederick, Hendrik, and Conrad started a, a wagon company, like a horse and buggy wagon company, and they were doing okay And uh, in a city called Rhine's Falls in, in Switzerland. And uh, little did they know at one time in the future that their company would be one of the largest firearm manufacturers in the world. And uh, then they ultimately started, they went from making the, the wagons and they started making railway cars, you know, trains, and they really started making a lot of money. Now they're a successful company, SIG is. And they got a challenge from the Switzerland Federal Ministry of Defense. The government of Switzerland said, all right, we're looking for a state-of-the-art rifle. And at the time, it was a musket. And uh, Really what happened was SIG won the bid and they got an order for 30,000 muskets. And the, the name of the company at the time was Swiss Industrial, and I can't pronounce the last word, it's not in English, but it's something to like, it's like Geschoffriff, and so there you have S-I-G is the point. So that's how you get SIG from the 1800s, a company making wagons, then trains, then muskets, and then, and then firearms, and and they, they won the bid for those muskets, and, and really cool. But now in the early 1970s, the Swiss government came up with some new law saying, if you guys want to mass to say, they said, if you guys want to mass produce firearms, you got to partner up with another country to do so. So which was a good thing. In the early 1970s, the Swiss government partnered up with a company called Sauer and & Son in, there in Germany. So there you have Sig Sauer. And I think it's kind of interesting. That's just me and my little educational portion before we look at the gun. As always, you know, welcome to WeaponsEducation.com. In 1985, SIG Arms it got incorporated in the United States in Exeter, New Hampshire. Take a look at my SHOT Show video. It's incredible. The, the, the man did a great job at SHOT Show 2012 discussing SIG Sauer. If you want to learn more history about the company of SIG Sauer itself, let's get into what you're looking for here is a review on the SIG Sour P220 Equinox. Here we go. Please subscribe. WeaponsEducation.com. And there she is in her beauty, close up 1080p. This is a limited design by the custom shop, and the master gunsmiths really did a great job with this gun internally smoothing all the parts out externally I mean this two-tone nitron stainless steel slide is absolutely amazing it's like a balance between day and night I mean right now it's under like a thousand watts of lights and do you see a glare on that slide No. so during the day it's not gonna glare and at night it's not gonna glare that's what the Equinox series is all about very very special you look at the wooden grips, we're going to get some other looks at this gun, I'll sit down behind the table, we'll talk about it. That's what really makes it so special. Let's take a look now at the other side. Just we love looking at gorgeous guns and I love bringing you guns that you do not normally see on the internet. The SIG P220 Equinox, let's look at the other side. There she is, the SIG P220, the other side absolutely stunning from the custom shop everything they do from the custom shop is is perfect let's just take a really good close look at it before i sit down behind the table i realize i have to buff out that trigger it should be a little bit shinier than that it should 
kind of look like the slide. Same thing with the hammer. That's okay. I carry this thing a lot. It's got a lot of rounds through it, about a thousand. Look at the beautiful wooden grips on it. Just the craftsmanship that went into this gun is second to none. I'm going to sit down behind the table now and talk about it. And Tammy, my wife, will take the camera and she'll assist me with the rest of the video. Here we go. All right, we're going to look at the Sig Equinox up close. Tammy's here, my wife. Thank you. Of course. I'm happy to be here, Tom. Thank you. Uh, please take a close zoom in here. And, you know, I want to start the video off with really looking at what intrigues me the most on this gun is the top of the slide and the whole slide itself. The, the entire two-tone nitron stainless steel slide is just absolutely amazing. It's a finish I've never seen. Can you really get a good close look right there, please? Uh, the, the machinery on this is, is second to none. And also, as I'm looking at the gun, I'm just going to talk about it. Of course, it's a safety check gun. Take the magazine out. But take a look at the, the night sights there. And the six night sights, the True Glow night sights, can you see that green right there? Yes? Very bright. Incredible. Now, another thing that intrigues me about the gun as a whole is the fit and feel in your hand. Okay? Now, I have big hands, and the trigger guard here is huge. It's very HK-like. See, you can, see my finger? And see how much room there is there? Very HK-like, so if you're wearing gloves in the winter, you got a lot of room. And like I said earlier, this is a thick gun. If there's a negative to this gun, I'm going to say it right now, it's thick. It's 1.5 inches. And when you hear dimensions in gun reviews, it might like not mean much to you, or maybe it does, I don't know. But it means a lot to me, because i got to carry this thing. And this is how I carry it, with uh, this custom leather holster. I like my paddle holsters. And it's thick, so I have to really have a long type of shirt to cover it up. So keep that in mind. For instance, I'm just talking out loud here. A normal 1911 is a 1.25 inches. This is 1.5 inches thick. And I'm, as I look at the gun, look at the back of look, look at the back of this wooden grip. Look how gorgeous that is from the custom shop. The rounded butt, and. You've got also serrations on the front of the trigger guard. Absolutely very special. Let's talk about the trigger. Now, when I'm in double action, you've got a pretty heavy trigger pull. You've got right at 10 pounds. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. But in single action, in single action, we're talking 4.4 pounds. That is light. That is like up there with the big boys in the $3,000 range, 4.4 pounds. Overall length of the gun, it's a long gun at 7.7 .7 inches, and the overall height is, is, pretty, is pretty high at 5.5 inches. And the barrel length, you know, it's not 3 inches, it's not 4 inches, it's 4.4 inches. So it's, it's perfect. It's just a little wide, just keep that in mind. The weight's at 30 ounces, so it's almost 2 pounds. It's a heavy gun. It's a big gun at 8 plus 1. Uh, to disassemble it, before we finish out the video, it's very simple. Always take your magazine out before you do anything with a gun for safety precautions. Don't even, don't even like attempt to disassemble a gun with a magazine in it. So this is a safety check gun. Magazine out. And as we know, you get your lever here. You take it down. The SIG is, because I'm right, I have to look at it. You're going to lock it up right here. And you're going to spin this right here, and it doesn't get any easier than that. Okay? And then we'll just put it right back together. I'm not going to take all the springs out in the barrel. You know how to do that. Okay, and you put it right back together, and then you just you lock it right back up, and you got your gun back. That's very simple. Look at the serrations here, how aggressive they are. I keep mentioning the slide. And, and the finish on the slide. If you're going to spend $1,200 on a gun, you'll probably get less money. I don't, I don't even know if this gun is still available. It comes from the custom shop. It's, it's, just, it's just gorgeous. The brushed, polished flats on the slide is just absolutely gorgeous. And 
The width of the gun I said is a negative, but what it does is it really, really reduces recoil. This feels like you're shooting a 9mm. It really does. This is one of my favorite guns. I think I think SIG actually is is up there with HK. It's one of the best guns in the world. Let me know your take on the six sour in general, all six hours, and this the, the P220, and your your just take on SIG in general. This is SIG Night, SIG Talk. Thank you. Checking out weaponseducation.com. Please subscribe.